Now that we discussed and defined the reaction energy or the Q value of nuclear reactions, let's take a look at the following example that deals with this concept. So determine whether energy is released or absorbed in the following nuclear reaction. We have an alpha particle that collides with the nucleus of a beryllium atom producing a carbon atom and releasing a neutron. So basically our goal is to calculate what the reaction energy is. If the reaction energy is positive, the reaction is an exothermic reaction or an exoergic reaction and that means energy is released. However, if the, our reaction energy is negative, that means our reaction is an endothermic reaction and energy needs to be absorbed for the reaction to actually take place. So, let's rewrite our reaction in the following way. We have our alpha particle that has a mass given by this quantity collides or smashes into the nucleus of the beryllium atom, which has a mass given by this quantity. And that forms our carbon-12 isotope, which has a mass of 12, and releasing a neutron, which has a mass of 1.008665 unified atomic mass units. So basically to calculate if our reaction actually releases or absorbs energy, we have to use this equation to calculate the Q value. So let's solve for Q and we get the following result. So the sum of the masses in kilograms of our reactants minus the sum of the masses of our product also in kilograms multiplied by the square of the speed of light in a vacuum. So basically, let's actually take the sum of these two quantities and then subtract that sum from the sum of these two quantities. Then we take that and multiply it by the conversion factor of 1.6606 times 10 to negative 27 kilograms in one unified atomic mass units. The use cancel and we get the mass in kilograms. And then we multiply by the speed of light in a vacuum and we get an amount of energy of about 7.51 times 10 to the negative 13 joules. And if we take this, divide this by 1.6 times 10 to negative 19 and then divide that that by 10 to the 6, we get the energy in mega electron volts. So uh, 4.69 mega electron volts is the quantity of energy that is basically released. And we know it's released because this is a positive value. A positive Q value, a positive reaction energy implies that energy is released when this nuclear reaction takes place and the sum of the kinetic energies of the product is greater greater than the sum of the kinetic energies of our reactants. So this nuclear reaction is in fact an exothermic or an exoergic nuclear reaction.